Hey guys, it's me, Miranda, from Speaking with the Fog, or Through the Fog. Today is day two of me not feeling very well. Um, well, I haven't been feeling well for a while, but day two of being really, really bad, just worse than I think I've ever been before, and, um, just wanted to kind of document, I guess, what's going on, just because I, I just can't even think of what else to do. Um, eventually I'll get back to talking about stuff that's important, but right now I just can't. I, I, I'm sweating like crazy, like more than usual. And I've got like, I can't decide whether I'm hot or I'm cold. Um, it's, it, it's not a, flu though like I've had flus this isn't a flu it's just it's different and um my face and neck and head hurts and it's not a headache it's like here and here and in my sinuses I can feel it in my sinuses and my eyes my ears hurt like the inside of my ears my jaw my throat is sore, but not like in a sick way, and like a, I just have been breathing through my mouth kind of way, but my nose is clear, um, and then my head, the back of my head, my neck, and just my shoulders, like it's like every single muscle has decided to hurt. But not my arms. My arms are, no, they're sore too. <laughs> I just guess they're not as sore as other places. My back is killing me. And then I feel like I have like a band wrapped around my chest. My lower ribs feel like they're broken. I don't know. And I get this like, these little twinges in the middle. And like, Every once in a while, I feel like something's stabbing me in different parts, in my kidneys, my right ovary, on, like, the top of my shoulder blade, in my ears. I've never had pain before, like, ever. I'm usually so just dizzy and out of it. And then, I'm just so tired, and it's it's weird because... I'll be tired at night, but I just can't sleep. I just lay here. And then during the day, all I want to do is, like, it's like, um, uh, oh, all I want to do during the day is sleep. And I have no patience. And I have a temper now because I just can't stand anything going differently. And I, I feel like I can't breathe because my chest hurts so bad. And then my eyes, when I, when I blink, like, this eye wants to go blurry for some reason. And someday, sometimes it's that eye, sometimes it's this eye. And whenever it goes blurry, I feel like there's like a thin membrane on my eye, like, I had put ointment in it or something. I don't know. It's weird. And I just, I don't know. I just don't feel good. And I just, with all my neurological problems and stuff going on with me recently this time, I don't know what this is leading up to because I feel like it's not, it's just going to get worse before it gets better. So I'm hoping it's not something, like, horrible. Um, yeah. I'm also, like, I keep looking down because I feel like I can smell something down there. Like, like I smell, like, I don't know, I don't know. I smell something gross. And I just, I, I swear I'm just going crazy. <laughs> and I know that's not a good thing to say, but... I don't know, I just, I just don't feel good.
and I don't know what to do about it because I just don't know, I don't know what's wrong with me. And I'm taking all the medications the way I'm supposed to, and none of them are supposed to make me feel this way. None of them. So what the heck is going on with me? And so I have an appointment on Friday with a uh um with my doctor and the um optometrist, so hopefully something gets figured out because I just I have I just feel terrible. I don't know. Anyways, um hopefully I feel good enough tomorrow to actually do a real like thing I was going to talk about um my trip to the Mayo Clinic today but maybe if I go to sleep for a while if I wake up in the middle of the night can't go to sleep maybe that'll just I'll just pick up my computer and record then because I just I don't know anyways I um I'll um I'll record later, so thank you for watching. I'm sorry about this weird freaking thing. I just video. I just want people to see that I can be pretty bad sometimes, and I don't even let my family see me this way, so when they walk in the room, I buck up and, you know, just trying to show the world what people have to put up with with chronic fatigue syndrome or whatever I might have anyways. Um, see you next time on Speaking Through the Fog.